Okay, so to continue on, we'll do some work around the um, chest and neck area. Um, need more definition under the under the arms to be able to define this um, roundness here under the pecs, and we'll split this way as well. Um, we're going to have to do a lot of cleaning up on that neck to be able to do the um, collarbone area in a moment. Let's just put some geometry in first and then we'll clean it up later. So I'm using selecting two and, so, and then Alt and E between them and then Shift and X just split them. I'm not worrying at, at this stage about the uh, the outer areas, we'll, uh, we'll clean these up as needed. Okay, and we're going to split all the way around here as well to here. So alt knee again and split, and then we'll um, we'll start to do some splitting here. <coughs> Working my way back down. All of these triangles that are left, or more than four sided, will be cleaned up. Clean up as you go, wherever possible. So, as I've got a triangle there, I can use that to put in a line of polygons there. And that will become the basis of the indentation around the collarbone. Now what you can do is select a, go into edge mode, keyboard S, holding down shift, select the line of edges and you can move them all as a group. And if you want to just see what that looks like in sub D mode, hit C and you can see whether that's going where you want it to. I don't want it too deep and actually rather than indenting that we would probably want to bring this one out more leaving it in sub D mode for a while we'll just do some tweaking around that area very often you'll lose volume um, by that I mean muscle mass seems to be flat for some reason so nipping in and out of sub D mode occasionally helps you resolve that issue now tucking these points underneath here gives us a crisper edge as you can see so me moving each individual point is making little edges crisper all the way around. You can see we've tucked that one under there. And we probably want to bring that down to some degree. Now we're almost there with that. I'm looking at my reference here. Um, I'm thinking that there's a bit of a mess on the neck where it meets this area so I'm going to go in and clean this up so I just want to run a split all the way around there which gives me very few problems just means I can even that up as well that one there. Again that's a clean up job for later. Go back to the neck and start working on some of the issues that we've got. So I think a split from there to there would help. And the reason we're doing this is running these splits now is we're just looking for better ways 
of matching um, the model that we've got to the reference material that I've got to the side of me. So where you see an issue, bearing, them, bearing in mind wherever possible we're going to use as, as few triangles as possible. We're just finding opportunities and fixing them. We've got the overall shape and form right, so we're not too worried about that. So now we're just going back in bit by bit, trying to get the muscles tighter and more refined and limiting the amount of triangles we leave lying around. Or we'll certainly limit the amount of more than five sided, more than four sided that we leave lying around. So you can see we're actually moving the triangles around a little bit. And it's cleaning it up as we go. Removing edges as needed. Getting rid of any silly little clips like that one. All of a sudden you find that a lot of your issues have resolved themselves. A lot of your triangle issues, should I say. And we're trying to limit the amount of polygons we put in, but actually these sort of areas we're going to need lots of polygons anyway to uh, to achieve the look we want later down the line, so it's not really giving us any problems at all. It's giving us a nice line along there for the collarbone, anyway. change that slightly so we're moving again we've moved that triangle around now if I delete this one here that's removed most of those using select I'll just smooth that out like so still a few triangles in there but not anywhere near what we had so I'm fine with all that area now um, I'm going to have a look at the belly area next and I'm coming around onto the um, around the side of the, the pecs and under the armpits here so we will split as usual across here using the same commands um, I think there's no reason why we shouldn't be splitting up into the armpit area here. You won't, you can't do a split from there to there if there's a five-sided in the middle, which I was just trying to do. Then, so when you get to to that, I just go in with um, the split tool, the X tool, so you can see me make lots of little mistakes all the way through my modelling. Um, great way to learn, obviously. Uh, I'm just terminating some of these lines because I don't want to go any further. Splitting and removing edges, splitting and removing edges, and it gives us a nice line round here, which would be easy to make the definition of the ribs now. now. Before we go on, let's do a little bit more on the belly area. We'll split down here, and we'll um, 
I do actually need a run down here. Now if I run it all the way up there it will cause problems so I'm going to terminate that there and that fixes that polygon so it's going to go from there all the way down here all the way down into the groin area there. As you can see right the way down the front no issue with that split. And what we'll do is we'll subdivide and we'll go in and fix the volume on the belly area like so. The volume issue is crucial. Uh, if you don't get your muscles looking like muscles, um, it spoils the whole look of the the creature. So there has to be some muscle weight, some muscle mass, and very often you'll find um, that that's gone through the modeling process and you have to put it back. So I'll subdivide again, and then I'll just start bringing out this rib area. So it's quite a chunky guy, so you won't really see his ribs. But coming out from under the arms and around the pecs, I would want a little bit of, of definition. Around here. And I'm fine with that amount of it. Go back down below the belly into his groin area. And let's just give this leg a bit more volume. probably take another split all the way around that belly give us just a little bit more to work with evening out the polygons wherever I go subdivide again let's just do a bit of smoothing so just selecting selectively if that's the right word done too much there so undo a little bit that's fine. So we've got a, a nice rounded belly, some some volume to it. Uh, a little bit odd from the front, so we'll perhaps correct that. You can see how invaluable um, sub D mode is at uh, at certain stages. Again, I'm always switching back into um, at the later stages of the model, and really I don't do it in the early stages as I keep repeating. Okay, so there's a bit of bit of detail gone into the uh, the collarbone there, into the the pecs, um, a bit more under the the arms, leaving a few issues lying around um, that we will be fixing, um, and then ready to move on to the next part. Mm -hmm.